Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to install Grobit locally and then we will see how it works. It seems that this is a season of extracting data from PDF files and converting it into a structured format and that is what Grobit tool does. We already have covered a lot of similar tools which try to extract information not only from PDF files but from Word documents, PowerPoint presentations and few others and then either convert it into JSON or Markdown format and then there are a lot of other output formats which we have covered from tools like Docling, Markitown, Nougat and the list goes on and on and on. In this video, I am going to introduce you to Grobit. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. Before that, let's have a quick overview of this Grobit tool. Now, if you go through their GitHub repo, you will be surprised to see that this tool is not new at all. I believe that this tool actually started happening in 2008 as a hobby project and then it started getting open source somewhere around 2011. And then since that time, there has been a steady stream of updates to this project, which is quite interesting. Now what Grobit does, Grobit enables you to extract and parse bibliographical information from article headers in PDF format. The purpose of this Grobit is very focused. It deals with scholarly documents or research documents. If you have a PDF file format of a scholarly document or a research document, you can extract things like title, abstract, authors, affiliations, keywords, etc. and lots of, lot of other information around reference extraction and parsing. For instance, you can uh, also use it to recognize and resolve citation context associated with full bibliographical references and if you have ever dealt with research document you could imagine then how hard that is without any tooling. It also extracts and structures full text from PDF articles including document segmentation and text body structuring. So I will be now installing it and meanwhile I will give you a bit more information around it. Before I do that let me also give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on a very very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPU so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. There is only one prerequisite to install it and that is Docker. Make sure that you have a recent version of Docker installed. If you don't know how to install it, please search my channel. I already have covered it in a very simple to understand video. And in order to run it, this is all you need to do. You just need to run this command which is going to download the Docker images and then it is going to start this tool on your local system as a Gradio demo at port 78. Six zero. So let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will play around with it and meanwhile that happens let's me give you a bit more information around this tool. So you can even parse names including person title, forename, middle name with it. You can also um, parse the dates and you can normalize them to ISO format which is really cool. It also consolidates and resolves extracted bibliographical references using external services and it also extracts and parses patent and non-patent references in patent publication and we are going to check it out on one of the research paper. And lastly, my favorite tool is that it even extracts funders and funding information with optional matching against the cross-reference funder registry. So as you can see that it is it includes docker images batch processing and primarily it has got a java api behind the scene which it so it is using java i think bit of an older version but still works fine so that is uh, a bit of an overview about it let's wait for this to get downloaded and then we will play around with it the download and extraction is completed it is going to start the tool now
and it is using its own small model widget which is quite cool and by the way this tool is being used in a lot of research institutes all over the world including internet archive cern mendeley uh, i think european patent office researchgate uh, inest and a lot of others okay everything seems ready let's access it in the browser and Grobit is now running in our local host at port 7860. At the first screen, you can see that there are a few tabs which you can access. Now it has um, an, offered you a few things which you can check it out, like PDF is there, or if there are any patent document or word document. And then you can even deal with this T um, E A I T E I format, which is primarily stands for text encoding initiative. TEI is our standard for encoding and annotating digital text and mainly it is used in social sciences and humanities. And if you go through patent, this is just a patent document and then these are few of the services which comes with it, like which sort of patent document you want to deal with text, PDF or in this ST.36 format or you just want to go with annotations and then similarly if you click on doc then you can go with some of the bibliographical analysis demo now for the pdf let me select one of um, the service so there are a few services which you can use you can go with add layer to pdf or i'm just going to uh, i just want to go with pdf reference annotations and you can even consolidate references include figures and tables so i'll just include this one maybe i'll also select this one let me select a file from my local system I'm just going to go to my files and my PDF. I have a uh, this docling.pdf. Let's go with this paper. It has a um, lot of tables and other stuff. Let me click, quickly show you. So this is how this docling um, paper looks like. It has a lot of images. It has tab tables, a lot of other than annotations and other stuff. So this is what we are going to do. And then let me click on submit here. It is requesting the server which is all running locally. Let's wait for it. And while it is running, let me also show you GPU consumption. And you see GPU is not being used. It's all running on my CPU, which is really cool. And I think it already has finished running it. Let me take you back. And there you go. It has extracted the document and it should highlight all the references and annotations. So let me scroll down. You see images are as is. And so are the all the information around tab tables and stuff and then if i there you go so annotations are all there all the references really good stuff as i said it works really really well on the scholarly documents but i think you can use it on a lot of other documents and people have been using it for a long time before all of these llms emerged so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Grobit, use it, it and let me know your thoughts on it. And by the way, I'm also working on a video where I'm comparing all of these Docling, Market Down and few other tools which I already have covered on the channel. So stay tuned if you are more interested in learning about these tools. And if you want to learn about Docling, Market Down and other tools, please go to my channel and search it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.